A memorial has been unveiled in Aberdeen, marking the final resting place of a survivor of the Titanic disaster. Robert Hitchens was at the wheel when the liner sank in 1912. He later died off Aberdeen in 1940. This is the final resting place of Robert Hitchens, the Trinity Cemetery in Aberdeen. Born in Cornwall, he was a quartermaster on the Titanic when it hit an iceberg in 1912. His grave was unknown until the 100th anniversary of the disaster and the research of his great-granddaughter. We are so delighted, the family of Robert Hitchens, to be able to um, unveil the headstone for him. Sally helped find her relative through the efforts of Ian Burnett of Aberdeen City Council. You can see clearly here it's Robert Hitchens died on board the, the SS the English Trader, which was a merchant ship that was lying moored off the, the, the coast. Uh, and Robert took a heart attack and died. Uh, he was obviously landed at Aberdeen and uh, the company uh, that had owned the English trader would have told the local company, which would have been a, a, a subsidiary company, to enter him in the company grave. Now this special stone marks the spot. And Robert isn't the only connection to the Titanic in Aberdeen. This is the nearby St Peter's Cemetery and the memorial stone to James Lee Fraser. He was an engineer on board the Titanic and was only 29 when it went down in 1912. But Robert Hitchens was also a victim of the Titanic. In command of a lifeboat, he was labelled a coward and a bully for refusing to turn back to recover more survivors. He was told to leave and head for a light, and that's what he did. So, you know, as far as I know, that's fine. I don't think he was a coward at all. Yeah, he was following orders. I think that's the important thing. He was, he was a professional seaman that was given an order, and he followed it to letter. Robert Hitchens became a heavy drinker and was even jailed for attempted murder. His life was ruined by the Titanic, but now his family hope at last he will be redeemed. Colin White, STV News, Aberdeen.